We've been getting a lot of really great questions on the 7.3 Godzilla motor that we've been working on. And two of the biggest questions that seem to pop up over and over again are, how much does one of these engines weigh? And when do we get to hear one run? Well, we got good news for you. That is right now. Because we put one on a scale, we weighed one along with a couple of other Ford engines. And we also put one on the dyno so we get to hear one run. The thing's wide open and it's sounding good. So first let's go over the weights. A 7.3, the way we have ours dressed, which is really no front engine dress, aluminum heads, and a composite intake that it comes with, weighs 538 pounds. It's not a lightweight, but, you know, you get a pretty robust um, iron block, six-bolt mains, skirted, forged steel crank in a package that's 446 cubic inches and can probably go to 470 or 480 with a bore and stroke upgrade. We also put a 351 based Windsor on the on the scales and this one was a 428 that we had in the shop so it's a little bit bigger than a 351 even though architecturally it's the same iron block forged crank aluminum heads and that came in at 471 pounds so that's a 67 pound difference called a 70 pound difference. We also weighed a Coyote since that's hugely popular with Ford guys even with swaps and in the 2011 to current Mustang. And that was 404 pounds for the Coyote, which is super lightweight for a 302 cubic inch V8. That's also capable of, you know, a thousand horsepower pretty easily with boost and a few upgrades. Um, so pretty big difference in weight. That's 134 pound swing uh, compared to the 7.3, but the 7.3 makes it back up with cubic inch and hopefully with a cylinder head. And we've also heard some rumors that some aftermarket companies may already be working on aftermarket heads for one of these engines which is going to be really really big um so there you go you got the weights now let's go check out the dyno where you get to hear this thing run So there you go, 508 horsepower with just a few tweaks. Now, a couple things we do have to note. When Ford tests a vehicle and they're going to produce a horsepower rating, it's SAE standards. So you have the full front engine dress. So it's turning the water pump. It's, it's turning the air conditioning. You got a, a belt on there and a, and a fan if you don't have an electric fan. So the, the front engine dress creates a lot of parasitic losses. You also have the stock exhaust with catalytic converters, so that's going to choke the engine down a little bit. Um, and so you can see also we had like an open uh, an open throttle body. And then the calibration, they have their calibration that comes in the vehicle. And we optimized the spark tables for the fuel, so we got a little bit of extra power. That's why we got 508 horsepower and 515 for torque. Now, the second pull is with the camshaft. We put a roller cam in there and it bumped it up to 563 horsepower at 6300 RPM and 541 for torque. So that's a gain of 55 horsepower and 26 pound feet of torque just putting a cam in there. And that was like the first try. It wasn't even what I'd call an optimized cam. Um, now later, which we unfortunately don't have video of, we did try that intake manifold and a set of, we'll call it cleaned up heads. They were not fully ported, just kind of cleaned up. And power jumped to 588 horsepower and 548 on torque. So big, big gains, 80 horsepower gain with just basic stuff. 
um, a camshaft, ported heads, all the kind of things that any hot rodder would really do. So now we're going to go back to the drawing board and we'll see if we can find some uh, form of boost maybe, or maybe we'll take the engine apart and really see if we can bump the compression or do something different. Thanks again for watching the videos. We really appreciate everybody checking things out. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That helps us out quite a bit. And I'm going to post links to the earlier videos in case you missed those so you can take a look. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll be back with more awesome videos.